podcast is Anurag Kulshestra. He is part of the Tracks Road Safety NGO. Anurag, thank you so much for speaking with us here on uh, CNN News 18. You know, crucial moments are lost and because of which we see uh, young lives like this one being lost in a city like New Delhi. It's, it's not too late in the night. It's a busy street. It's, a, it's an area where perhaps many of the richest of this uh, city live there. We have cars and bikes passing by and yet people let this boy leave there on the road bleeding for about 30 minutes. As a, I think two people have already discussed about this. They have helped me. Maybe they have helped after 10, 15 or 20 minutes. But they start because the good Samaritan law says ke, like you have to help the victim. People has started the help. Somebody has called up the ambulance this or the PCR. But uh, unfortunately, there was a delay in response time from the police side or from the ambulance side. So ultimately, the people have taken this body or the taken this victim to the hospital. But it is very unfortunate in our country, maybe in Delhi especially also, like nobody knows where are the trauma centers. And instead of trauma centers, they are taking these uh, victims to, naturally as per my own knowledge, I'll be reaching to the first nearest hospital. And if max type of hospital, if they're denying this, it's a serious concern for our uh, medical health or the medical line, okay, why they refused it. They have to give the first aid at least. And it is mandatory as per the Good Samaritan law also. Okay, no, no hospital or no clinic can say no to any victim. At least they have to provide the first aid and then they have to arrange the transportation to the trauma centers. So this is a big question. And second thing, Yes, this is a law of probability because if 100 people are uh, gathered at one place, then naturally only one and two or four will help hmm. the victim. So th this is okay because I'm, I'm at least I'm satisfied that somebody has helped. That doesn't matter that all the 100% gathering is there, so all 100% will be helping the victim. Hmm. And this is a management also, okay, if they are, there's a crowd. So you, somebody has to manage the crowd also and somebody has to manage the victim's body also yes it's quite obvious it's okay i'm satisfied at least but you know you're, we're talking about this good samaritan law and you know a lot of times when we see instances like this or accidents like this a lot of times why people don't help is also because nobody wants to get you know stuck in uh, the kind of bureaucracy that happens maybe with the police or at the hospital of what happened how were you involved the kind of questions that are raised a lot of people don't want to get into that which is why perhaps they don't help that is something that this law tried to counter but do you think that kind of um, doubt still remains in the people's minds which is why they don't come forward so actually, I'm just telling you because Good Samaritan law, it started in the uh, US, in America basically, and uh, it was a, it was mandatory to help the victim body. And it is, has made mandatory that if you don't have the first aid knowledge, you need not to touch the body of the victim. You have to call like police or the ambulance and you have to be present over there till the medical help arrived over there. But in India, we are spreading the things that anybody can handle the body of the victim in any type and just put, like uh, hold the body with two legs and his hands and put it into the car or auto and anyhow you just transport that victim's body to the hospital. This is a very wrong concept which is, has mm. been uh, like advertised in India. Yes. So and nobody can, anybody cannot help the body victims of victim's body. Naturally, if you are having the knowledge, then you have to help and at least because there is a type of uh, like a road, this crowd management and after that, the encouragement or the motivation to the victim. If somebody is coming, hold yourself, don't worry, some help will be coming soon and you'll be okay and uh, keep continuing in discussion with that. This is a good Samaritan basically. Yes. But we are spreading the masses like this, anybody in any type and any type of transportation they can do in any manner. This is a very wrong concept. Mm. And second thing, this is about the synchronization of the, our uh, medical system because our all ambulances and even this uh, PCR, they are not synchronized or the integrated together. 
so that if you are making a call then all the call and every call will reach to anyone and whoever the nearest will come yes. over there yes. so this is also a flaw in our system hmm. so all of that uh, needs to be looked into so that we do not lose uh, any more such lives to accidents like these accidents happen but what happens afterwards it's also something uh, that can uh, save someone's life or unfortunately like in piyush's case that is something that can cost your life as well uh, anurag kushesh thank you so much for speaking with us here on cnn news 18